Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. Time? Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these new machines are touchy. Just don't do anything crazy. Sokolov's changed everything again, and we don't know what the hydraulics can do now. We've got him here today doing a portrait. There's a time to try something. Hello, sir. Corvo, you're back! Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. Did you see any monsters while traveling to the other aisles? My nanny says Indeed, the big ocean's full of them. So. But I think she only says that to scare me. Run with me! Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Here I come. Here? Let's see about here. Okay, you win. We should go now, so Mother can see you too. <laughs> While you were gone, Mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you.
Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. What are you doing? I need the bottle to draw the eye away from Campbell. I suppose I can paint him without the cider, huh? though in truth he is always close to the stuff. Things are bad. She'll see you at once. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early, full of surprises, as usual. <clears throat> Follow me, Captain. We should leave them alone. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news have you brought? I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Get behind me! Look out! <laughs> Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! <laughs> Emily, protect her. You're the only one who'll know what to do, won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Take him. <laughs> 